I welcome you to another series of our videos. So, in this video, we will continue talking about vectors. So, let's try by defining what a vector quantity is. So, what is a vector quantity? A vector quantity, this is a quantity that has both the magnitude and direction. So, then it is also important to, for us to define what a scalar quantity is. So, a scalar quantity is defined as a quantity that only has magnitude and has no direction. So, in this video, we'll be discussing vectors. So, this question comes from CWA 11th edition, problem 71. So, the question reads, a commuter airplane starts from an airport and takes the route shown in figure P1.71. The plane face flies to city A, located 175 meters, uh, lo sorry, located 175 kilometers away in a direction 30 degrees north of east. So it's important to take every detail because it's a very vital when coming to answering this question. Next, it flies for 150 kilometers, 20 degrees west of north to city B. Finally, the plane flies 190 kilometers due west to city C. The question reads, find the location of city C relative to the location of the starting point. So this is the question. So like we've mentioned in our previous videos, in physics, you need to come up with the simplest possible diagram showing how you understand the question. So in this case, this diagram has been drawn for us. So let's look at the diagram. So the plane flies to sit A, then flies. So this is um, 175 kilometers to sit A at 30 degrees Celsius uh, with respect to the x axis. So always make sure that x axis is your reference point. Then it flies to city B for um, uh, like at 150 kilometers, then at an angle of 20 degrees. It then flies due west for 250, sorry, for 190 kilometers. So due west meaning the angle is 180 degrees. So then this is our compass here showing us the direction. So we've understood the question in that way. Let's now solve it. So this question will do it in steps. So uh, when answering such questions, you need to resolve the components. Um, you, re you need to resolve the vectors into components. So we have this vector here, this vector here, and that vector there. So this is the resultant vector. So to find the resultant vector, we have to resolve the component, uh, these vectors into components. So how do we do it? So let's now start. So step one, we need to find the components of vector A. So vector A, vector A, the magnitude, it's 175 kilometers. Then the angle with respect to the positive x-axis is 30 degrees. 
So to find the x component, this is the formula ax is equal to a cos theta. What is our a? Our a is the magnitude, which is 175. What is our theta? Our theta is the angle, which is 30. So, you write like this. So, at this point, we punch this on a calculator, 175 cos 30, it's 151.554457 kilometers. So we can write this in five sig uh, significant figures to be 151.55 kilometers. So this is the x component of vector A. Then we proceed to finding the y component of vector A. So to find the y component, you say y component of vector A is equal to A sine theta. What is the magnitude? A is the magnitude, which is 75. Wow, sorry, 175. Then what is our theta? Our theta is 30. So we can substitute by writing this. 175 sine 30. So when you punch that on a calculator, 175 sine 30, we get 87.5 kilometers. So this is the y component of vector A. We continue to step two. Step two, it's resolving, resolving the components of, uh, resolving vector B into its components. So vector B is 100 and, uh, the magnitude of vector B is 150 kilometers. Then the angle is 20. But we've been advised to say we should always ensure that we make x um, our reference. So always, when you are dealing with vectors, it's easy to, 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 to solve the questions when you always uh, consider x axis as your reference point. So when we consider the x axis as the, rich, uh, the, the reference point, so we'll say, uh, we'll say 20 plus 90, giving us 110. So that will be the angle when we use the x-axis, the positive x-axis as our reference point. So resolving uh, vector B into each component, we will use the theta 110. It's easy to use uh, the, uh, this angle. Or it's easy to use the positive x-axis as the reference point. So what was the what was the magnitude of vector b? The magnitude of vector b it's 150. Then the angle we've just said is 110 degrees. So we'll say 150 cos 110 degrees. So let's punch this. On a calculator. So this gives us the x component of vector b to be negative 51.30215 kilometers. So this is the x component of the vector. So when we can write this in five significant figures to be negative 51.303 kilometers. So let's proceed to find the y component of vector b. So this is the, the formula. y component of vector b is equal to b sine theta. What is our b? b is the magnitude of the vector, which is 150. Then theta is the angle, which is 110. We are using 110 because we are starting from the positive x-axis or we have set the positive x-axis as our reference point. So when we, we punch this on a calculator, 150 sine 110, it's giving us 
140.95389 kilometers. So this is the y component of vector b. So we can write this in five significant figures to be 140.95 kilometers. So this is the y component of vector b. Let's continue to finding the components of vector c. So the magnitude of vector c it's 190. Then the angle in the uh, in the description of the question they said due west. When they say due west, it simply means the angle is 180. So the angle in this case is 180. So and this uh, again we are saying it's with the uh, x axis with the risk uh, with risk uh, with reference to the positive x axis. So, the formula is the x component of the vector c is equal to c cos theta. What is the magnitude of c? The magnitude of c is 190, then the angle is 180. So, when you punch this on a calculator, we get the x component of vector c to be. 100, uh, negative 190 kilometers. Then we proceed to finding the y component of vector c. So the y component of vector c is given by c sine theta. C is the magnitude of the vector c, which is 190. Then theta is the angle 100. And 80. So when you punch this on a calculator, let's punch 190 sine 180. It's zero. So the y component of the vector c is zero. We can see from the diagram that the the this vector has no y component. So we've just proven through calculations that the, the vector c has no y component. So at this point. Uh, it is as uh, advisable to to put these in a table format so that it's easy for us to find the resultant x component and the resultant y component so let's put that in a table format all right so uh, now we are finding the resultant x and y components so this is vector a vector b vector c so these here are the here they are the x components here y components so let's read the, uh, let's read them through so x um, a vector a x component it's 151.55 then y component it's so this is the x component then y component it's 87.5 kilometers then vector b the x component it's negative 51.303 kilometers then the y component is 140.95 kilometers then for vector c the x component is negative 190 kilometers then the y component is zero. So when you add them, you find the resultant x component to be negative 89.753. Then here when you also add, you find the resultant y component is 228.45. So you are advised to put them in this form or table format is easy like uh, in this way and it's not uh, possible for you or the chances of you making mistakes are slim so you are advised to to put them in this table format so let's look at step five where now you you are supposed to find the resultant magnitude 
of uh, the, the the magnitude of the resultant vector so we found that the x component so the formula for for finding the resultant magnitude it's square root x squared plus y squared so these are just components of the vector so we found that the x component of the vector was 89.753 so when you square it uh, you have to square it then the y component was 228.5 uh, 45. Uh, sorry 228.45 then you square it again So at this point, well, when you do it on a calculator, so let's do it on a calculator. So when you do it on a calculator, you find that the yeah, we we find that it's see sixty thousand two hundred and forty five thousand point zero zero. So when you find there now at this point we have to find the square root of this number. So the square root of that number it's two forty five point four kilometers. So this is the magnitude of the resultant vector. So we are done with the first part of the question, finding the magnitude. So now we have to find the direction or the angle of the resultant vector. So let's do that. So we can tell that the, the x component of the resultant vector is negative and the y component of the resultant vector is positive. So we can come up with a diagram that will show us that vector. So this is the diagram. This x component is showing it's going in the negative direction then this y component is showing it's going in the um, positive um, y direction then this is the resultant vector so these are just uh, components of the vector so we can tell that this resultant vector is in the second quadrant so meaning we are supposed to take note of that when finding the direction. So let's continue. So to find the direction, you use the so to find the the the, the theta, we use um, to find the direction or the angle. We we'll say theta is equal to tan inverse y over x. Okay, so what is our our y component of the resultant vector? It's see, two hundred and twenty eight point four five over the x component, which is eighty nine point seven five. So when we punch on the calculator, we find that our theta is sixty eight point seven five degrees. So this would have been the answer. The final answer if our resultant vector was in the first quadrant. Now, since it's in the second quadrant, we are supposed to take note that there's another angle, or we need to look for the angle, the an, a, a, another angle which will be now the final answer. So, in the second quadrant, we we'll subtract sixty-eight point seven five from one hundred and eighty degrees. So when we subtract, we, we get the, the theta to be 111.25 degrees with respect to the positive x-axis. Or you would say the theta is or the direction is 21.4 degrees west of north. So either ways, you can describe your direction. So at this point, we are done with um, what this, uh, the question required us. So the magnitude of the resultant vector is 245.45 kilometers.
the direction of the vector is 111.25 degrees with respect to the positive x axis or 21.25 degrees north of uh, west of north uh, sorry 21.25 degrees west of north so at this point we can say we have concluded the question thank you for watching remember to subscribe to our youtube channel